So here we have two matrices of different dimensions, and we're going to see if we can multiply them. If so, we're going to multiply them and see what we get. The first matrix says 2, 0, 1, and 3, and negative 4, 1. We want to see if we can multiply that by the matrix 6, 0, 2, negative 2, and 3, 4. So the question is, can we multiply these? Well, we look at the order of the rows and the columns. Here we have a 3 row by 2 column matrix, and here we have a 2 row by 3 column matrix. These numbers have to match up. In other words, the columns from the first have to be the same as the number of rows from the second. So these are the same. The other thing we can see right away is the dimension of the final matrix, the product. It's going to be what you have left on the outside, 3 by 3. So we're going to have an answer of a 3 by 3 matrix. So if we start to multiply that out, it's just a few different arithmetic steps, and then we can get our final answer. So like I say, it's going to be a 3 by 3. And so we'll do a little bit of arithmetic here, and then we'll see what our final answer is here, just a 3 by 3 matrix. To do this, what we need to do is this times this plus this times this for the first one. So we're going to have the first row times the first column in this point here, in this section, and then we're going to go on from there in that same pattern. So that will give us uh, 2 times 6 plus then we just have 0 times 0. So that's just going to be 0. Then we'll have 2 times 6. That gives us 12 in this first spot. OK, so for the second spot, we're going to have this row times this column. So 2 times 2 plus 0 times negative 2. And let's just give ourselves a little bit extra space here, because this is going to be a lot more arithmetic whereas this is our final answer, our sum of two products. So 2 times 2 plus 0 times negative 2. This is, of course, 0. 2 times 2 is 4, and that's it. Great. So we have one term, the second term, and now moving on. So first row, third column, 2 times 3 plus 0 times 4. And that is, of course, 0 here. 2 times 3 is 6. Great. So we're already done with one row here. So now we're going to move on to the second row here, and then we go through one column at a time as well. So we start with 1 times 6 plus 3 times 2. So 1 times 6 plus 3 times 2. So that gives us 6 plus 6, which is, of course, 12 as well. Let's see. 6 times 1, 3 times, sorry, this is a 0 here. So we have 3 times 0. Sorry, so it was two zeros again, uh, just as before. So 6 times 1 plus 3 times 0 gives us just 6. This is 0 as before. Next, we have second row, second column. OK, so we have 1 times 2 and 3 times negative 2, so minus 3 times 2. So this gives us 2 minus 6, which is going to give us negative 4. So this is positive 2 minus 6, which gives us negative 4 in this location here. OK, finally we have second row, third column. So we have 3 times 1, and we have 3 times 4. So this gives us 3 plus 12. So that gives us a value of 15. And we're two rows down, one more to go. Third row, first column. So we have negative 4 times 6, negative 4 times 6 plus 1 times 0. So this is just 0. And then we have negative 4 times 6, which is negative 24. So we're done with this term. Then we have third column, second, sorry, third row, second column, 2 times negative 4, or negative 4 times 2, uh, plus 1 times negative 2, so minus 1 times 2. So we have two negative numbers here. We have negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So negative 8 minus 2 just gives us negative 10. Great. So finally, one last arithmetic step. We have the third row, the third column. Negative 4 times 3 and positive 1 times 4. So plus 1 times 4. 
So here we just have 4, here we have 12, so negative 12 minus 4, which is negative 9. Sorry, negative, negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12, plus 4, so that's minus 8. So that's our final arithmetic step, and here we have our final 3 by 3 matrix. So these are the same matrices, but this is our, our final answer with all the arithmetic all simplified in this form here. So we had a 3 times 2 matrix, a 2 times 3 matrix that gave us this 3 by 3 matrix.